I'm sipping, 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 Publisher, editor, CEO, founder, you got it. Oh, all right, cool. I knew I missed a couple, but no, um, this is my Falcon. Bottom line, all them titles, this is my Falcon. And we at eleven twenty two right now, MMG Studios for the Dutchie Man and Friends concert. And I just wanted her to get on here and tell y'all a little bit about what she got going on and how she's gonna contribute to what y'all got going on. Absolutely. So I'm in the building. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to see the things is moving and shaking. Um, you know post everything that we've been through we'll be going through i'm hyped to cover this um it's a lot of philly music philly sound here you know philly got the greatest of all talents so i'm excited to be here and to to bring this to you on the scene magazine word man word so tell them how to find on the scene magazine and give them a little background on it it's very easy you can find us at on the scene magazine.com um on the scene magazine is a positive platform i'm a fourth generation editor and publisher that's dedicated to positive information so go on the scene for on the scene magazine.com for all of your positive information that can get you where you're not yeah yeah and that's all i really needed from sunny brick but um i definitely appreciate you always sis i wish you the ble- the best and the blessed you know what i mean that's what that cognac do but um yeah the best and the blessed that's what we're gonna do that's the t-shirt but um just um what they say keep it rocking in the free world like my man nara where i say no but keep it positive and keep doing what the fuck you do that's for real I that's all i can do that's all i know Word. This is Sippin' with Sammy. I am Sippin' with Sammy. Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't Sippin' with Sammy, you ain't Sippin' right. Get your fucking life together. And we at 1122 MMG Studios for the Dutchy Man and Friends concert. You know what I mean? Salute to everybody that helped put this together, Fine Productions and everything. I got Muncho in here with me. What's up with you, homie? Chillin', chillin', chillin'. I'm here, um, just doing my thing, man. Dutch, um, looked out for me, and I'm, I'm proud of that. I mean, shout him out, you mean? Word, shout out to Dutch for real, legend in this city. So, um, I heard I missed your performance. I was coming for Fly Day. I had to handle my radio show first. But how did it feel rocking in this situation with the COVID situation? But such a great facility to do it in. Like, how did it feel? Oh, yeah, it felt real great. I was kind of nervous at first, but I loosened up right in the middle of the performance. So, yeah, I would say it was a good time, man, real good time. No, that's dope, man. And um, I know you appreciate it, and I know your performance will be appreciated once this airs. Um, tell the people what you got going on out there, what's out there that they could look forward to, um, either already going on or coming soon. All right. Um, well, I got an album out already um, called I Am Champion. It's on all platforms already. I actually got a um, web series that I direct and everything out on YouTube already. We got over 2 million views on that, too. Yeah, um, this is called um, This Little World of Ours on YouTube. It's, it's real major, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's something big. And I um I got actually um two LPs coming up. One called, um, dang, um, Sex Cells. One of them called Sex Cells, and the other one is called A Muncho Collection Part 2. So, yeah, that's what I got coming up. See, we just learned a lot about you real quick, and that's dope, man. Congratulations on your web series. And it's crazy because you're saying that it's a big deal. That means it's a big deal because niggas don't just say that from here. You know what I mean? From this area, without it being about something, because motherfuckers will call you on it. So I know that that's dope. Congratulations. And um, definitely, you just told me two completely different titles for the newcomer LPs. One was Sex Cells, and the other one was something else. But what's the um, what can we expect as far as the difference between the two? All right, the Sex Cells one is more like female based like most of the songs go be like more like for the ladies and stuff like that and um and the muncho collection is like more the hardcore stuff so yeah i didn't want to just blend like but i could have just made one big lp but i was like no I, i'd rather like separate the two and have different feels different vibes to both of them so yeah that's why i went that way that's dope man i'm looking forward to it man and um Contact me, hit me up. We'll get you through Glock Aware, man. We ready to roll out and figure out your situation for real, for real. But, um, I mean, not for real, for real, but, like, for the next projects. But um, let the people know where to follow you at, where to find your music at, how to book you and all that cool shit. Oh, yeah, y'all can hit me up on um, Instagram, Munchogram. Um, or y'all can hit me up on Facebook, Muncho Stewart. Um, my YouTube page is called Yahan Life, um, Y-A-H-O-N-L-I-F-E. 
Um, I got I got a lot of subscribers on there, so I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm doing it kind of big. I mean, I, I'm just looking for other outlets to to get get my shine on. So, and I, I felt like this was a real big platform right here. So, I mean, thanks for having me out. Man, thanks for doing Sipping with Sammy, and thanks for supporting everything that's going on here today, man. I, I respect everybody that's involved in this situation, which means that extends to you. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot, man. I, I'm, I like to hear stuff like that because, I mean, in this city, people be, like, trying to, like, downplay everybody. I mean, I like the way people are. I like how I'm being embraced here, and I, I would like to extend my embracement, too. So, yeah, thanks again. That's dope, bro. I appreciate you, man. I'll see you around. This is Sippin' with Sammy. I am Sippin' with Sammy. Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't Sippin' with Sammy, you ain't Sippin' right. Get your fucking life together. I'm still at 1122 MMG Studios, Dutchie Man and Friends concert. Salute to everybody that's rockin' tonight. And right now, I got in the building with me... Hook Master Jazz. Hook Master Jazz. Now, I, I, I saw Hook Master Jazz earlier. And without him knowing who I am, specifically, and me knowing who he was, there was love. There was good energy there. There was a salute there. But I just found out that he produced Son of the 215's own New Philly, which features Glockaware's own. Man, you you know what kind of stew pot you cooked up with that? Can I get a little bit on that? Okay, so check it out. Like, um, my man's yeah, his first time meeting him. That was the first day. Energy crazy, right? Yeah. Energy crazy, first day. Now, you got to also remember, I'm not even from Philadelphia. I only come out here from California only a week and a half a month. We're blessed. Right. So he came in. He told me, he said, look, you got something. You got something in the crates. I looked at Kev. Kev looked at me. You know what I'm saying? I opened the magic crate. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, cool. Then I seen Chantel Marie sitting over there on some vocals. Hold up. Hold up. You open the magic crate. That shit look like on Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? That all, the, all, the, all the blessings come out. So <laughs> I seen Chantel Marie over there and I was like, you sing? All right. Yeah. Jump in the booth. I'm going to arrange all your vocals. Arranged her vocals, got her right, and we And she said, It's the new Philly. And it took and and I, she didn't even know. I just told her that's what she needed to say. And so it took four hours. The record was done in four hours. And it's an amazing record. Also, um, I just finished uh Projectiles and Cognac with Dutchie. I'm the one who actually like musically directed that entire project. So the new the project he's gonna be performing tonight. Um, I actually sat with Dutch for a whole month and worked on that project exclusively with him, just me and him. See what I'm saying, man? When you come to 1122 MMG Studios, you meet some of the most talented, most humble, most workingest motherfuckers in the world, and they can run off shit like that like it's light. But you talking about a lot of things that speaks to my soul, that supports and um, elevates the people that I care about, that I um, personally and creative, creativity, cre creatively. You know what I mean? So um, I just want to salute you and tell you that I support you and I'm here for you. And I have multiple platforms. I'm also an artist. But beyond all of that, I'm a resource for you, my brother. Absolutely. And what I also want to say is like um, when I came to uh, Philly three years ago, when I started coming here, I had a purpose. My purpose was to come here and give all I have creatively free of politics. The idea was that I can come in and shake the foundations of what's going on here. And I don't have to politically move in this city. I can move only with creativity. So when New Philly came, people was like looking like, who in the hell did this? So even in the list of engineers and producers, it never showed up. The same thing with Dutch. When people hear Dutch's music, they're like, who's, who's doing this? And the idea is I didn't want to really be a face on the, on the mantelpiece. I just wanted to be somebody that would come in. It doesn't matter what type of industry shit I got going on in California. I wanted to come to Philly and just be silent and go back to being an engineer and a producer and just work silently and let the music speak for itself. Which is the opposite of what's going on right now when we're in the age of every producer and every engineer having their own tag along with the rapper's tag on their records, which, you know, I get it. I understand it. I understand wanting to be validated for what you do. I understand that production a lot of time doesn't get the um, respect that it deserves. DJs don't get the respect they deserve. Engineers don't always get the respect they deserve, especially before a whole lot of shout out Google all crazy. But I also know one thing about creatives, man. Some people put themselves in the position that they are in because that's the position they want to be in. You're behind the boards because you didn't want to necessarily be in front of the mic or didn't need to be in front of the mic to accomplish your goals. 
So now you put yourself in a position business wise where you're still the guy behind the situation. You don't put yourself in a position to have to front line it, quote unquote. So I respect that as a creative, because however you want to give your creativity out, however much you want to give the people, they don't got to know that you got to check for that. You know you got to check for that, and an artist will always salute you, and you'll go down documented in history as somebody that made these moments for these people that you work with. So that's dope as hell, man, and I salute you for that. I would say, yeah, that's great. That's very important. That's actually the main thing. As an engineer, I'm not famous, and we're not supposed to be famous. Sometimes what we have is we have people who are subjected to the people they want to work with. And um, I'm kind of beyond that point now. And I want to just like I said, I mean, even before I came here, I was in Louisville, Kentucky. I spent a week and a half there and <clears throat> a lot of the bureaucracy there doesn't know I exist. But they know that artists that they never really touch are making moves musically, creatively. And um, a person like Dutchie, like. I wanted to be a person that would say, you know, I'm not sure about, I never knew who Dutch was. I never knew major figures. I never knew who they were. And uh, so when I first met Dutch, it wasn't about who he was. It was about, I see him as a person who's been in this 20 years and he's an old soul. And he needs someone who is not focused on who he is, but what he can become. And so when we sat down, and not just him, but there's a lot of people who are looking away from politics and saying, hey, how can we sit down and work? So me not knowing half the people I've been working with, there's a lot of them are industry people here, people that have been here for like 20 years. It's like, so they're saying, you don't know who I am? I'm like, not really. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's a there's a, a purity in that and there's a beauty in that. And I, that's one thing I respect. Well, one thing that I say, one quote I've heard that I always repeat is when you put a couple creatives in a room, few creatives in the room, crack the door and let God in. Nobody has to tinker with that. Nobody has to engineer that. The creatives don't even know what they're creating until it's done sometimes. Because you might put something on and you say you put your sauce on it. Now you put your seasoning on it. Now you put the marinade on that and you put the rub on that. And it might not even sound like it go together. But once those pitches line up and them chords catch and we fade out this and we pull in this, it's a medley. It's, it's, it's a perfect jambalaya. And that's what creativity is. That new Philly record, man, that was the, the perfect gumbo stew. Uh, you know, I wanted to really give him a Dr. Dre uh, West Coast record. And he reminds me of Nas. I mean, a lot of people may not know that, but I listen to him. He reminds me so much of Nas. And I'm coming from a non-biased standpoint, somebody on outside looking in. So I was like, man, wouldn't that be a great combination? I'm going to tell you a secret. First of all, you accomplished your goal. Let's 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 salute that. Second of all, you're capturing the fact that he's a Nas energy is nothing new to me. Yes. Like, okay, okay. um, that that's my little brother for real. We grew up in the same neighborhood. At one time, I built the studio along with a um, couple other people so that he would have somewhere to work out at because I knew his potential. And we saw him grow leaps and bounds. Then the way that you see him working here, he was constantly there. <clears throat> When he's comfortable somewhere, he works. And that's why he's to be supported. And that's why I appreciate you. Because one of the things that I told you earlier is I am an artist. But I know some people that I kind of wanted it for them more than I wanted it for me on an artist front. And I tried to put them in position. And he was one of the first ones I thought of when I met a Rough Rider producer by the name of Mozart. That I'm sure you're familiar has done records with him recently. You know what I mean? Um, I, I I made that connection because I knew he deserved it. I knew you deserved he deserved it. Very very hard. He definitely works very very hard, and uh, you know I appreciate him about that. Um, I never knew much about Philly. I think like eight years ago, there was a rapper named S Five that came to San Diego. He's from West Oak Lane, and he was the first person I met from Philly. Shout out to shout out to S Five, but he was the first person who really kind of got my eye on on Philadelphia. And so when I got to this region, that's when I, you know, decided to kind of, you know, make sure that I spend my own money. Like I, I fly out here on my own dime to come out here and work with artists directly, so. That's dope and that's appreciated on some real shit. And like I said, we gonna figure out some things. I'm gonna make some space for you on some platforms. You let me know what you got going on. To hit me on flyers. But um, when you in town, let me know. If you got some time, we'll make some time. But um, I'll say this. I'll say this. Um, uh, there's been so many records I've worked on in the past three years, and I think the exposure of some of the artists um, that I've been working with here 
and 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 allowing you to hear some of the artists in a different space than you used to hearing them. And that and that is including Dutch and including uh, um, Son of Two One Five. I think it'll be exciting to uh, to hear uh, some of the work that I've been doing uh, with them, and I think you'll be excited to hear it too. Absolutely, um, and I've heard probably more than you think I'm aware that more than you're aware of because I am in radio and 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 they know that I'm here for them, so they've sent me things gave me little exclusives and i appreciate that because that gives me the feeling of the hip-hop that we had in the 90s when you was the one that could get that mixtape or that record first and all your friends needed to dub it and like you know what i mean it's like i still get that feeling just through the blessing of being able to do media the way that i do it and still being able to be myself and c connect with people that feel like i feel about the culture right you have your eye on the pulse of, of what's current and, and what's going on in, in the community and that's a great thing appreciate that man i appreciate your time i salute your efforts let the people know how they can follow you where they can get with you at and um shout out dutch once more man because we got to shout out the man of the hour for real for real yeah so once again shout out to the to the man the, the man uh that's going to be performing uh dutchy of major figures you know, already know what it is so uh if you ain't here definitely get a bar when the stream comes live uh also um if you want to find me you can find me at hookmaster jazz on instagram uh, or uh, Jazz Williams on uh, Facebook, and that's Jazz with one Z. Say that, man. Appreciate your time, bro. Much success. I'll see you soon, and often probably. <laughs> My guy. Sammy, I am sipping with Sammy. Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't sipping with Sammy, you ain't sipping right. Get your fucking life together. And we still at 1122 MMG Studios, the Dutchy Man and Friends concert. And I got the guy with me, man. Ran Shaw, what up, homie? It's popping. It's your boy. Tommy Pickles with the body, bro. Hoes can't call me. What's poppin'? Funny as shit, you said that Tommy Pickles shit, man. You done took that shit and made it bigger in the hood than it's ever been, nigga. Oh yeah, this is this just the beginning. I'm about to take this shit bigger than what you see right now. So when you go to any part of the city, tri-state, east coast, and you see my boy head around in the cartoon version, it's Tommy. I heard that. And we talking about merch is available. I seen it on sneaks. I see the whole block have it on before. Like, I'm paying attention, bro. I know I don't always Thank bump you. into you, but I'm watching what you got going on. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. No cat. No, but let the people know where they can find your merch, where they can find your music, what visuals you got out now, all that cool shit, up and coming stuff. You can find me, first of all, number one asset, we're going to keep it a bean. Instagram. We all know that's what everybody has. So get me there. Real Ranshaw. R E A L R A N S H A W. Real Ranshaw. So when you see me in the street, don't call me Ron Shaw Ran. You, you know my fucking name. No, I hate that shit. The fucking merchandise, you holler at me to get that. We about to get the website set up easily real soon. The Tommy Pickles EP is out right now on all digital platforms. Where if you got Apple, Tidal, Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud, it's on all that shit. I fucked them Instagram up by giving them a snippet where we paid. That shit about to come out. The visual about to come out for that. Then the drop come out for the visual on the Tommy Pickles EP. All this shit shot. We just let that shit come out week after week. And then I got my young nigga a Raw on to come up from West Oak Lane up top. I got him rocking with me, so. Uptown shit. Y'all niggas, we on, we on some type time right now. No, that's what it is, man. That's what it is. And I respect the work. I respect the work ethic. You know what I mean? They both two different things, so I want to salute you. I appreciate the love and support from you, because you ain't no new nigga. Word. You know, I appreciate that. I appreciate you saying that. But I'm on some real shit. I'm going to catch up with you soon. I'm going to get you through Glock away with me. We're going to figure some shit out. And you're going to let me know when the rollouts is coming. Definitely, definitely, definitely. The shit out now, you feel me? So go grab that Tommy Pickles EP on all, all digital platforms, man. One of the hottest joints out. We enjoying ourselves at Dutch and Friends concert. Absolutely. Salute to Dutchy, man. For real, for real. Salute. But, um, yeah. The real Ren Shaw, man. My guy. Whole lot of Uptown shit going on, man. <laughs> Appreciate you, bro. This is Sipping with Sammy. I am Sipping with Sammy. Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't Sipping with Sammy, you ain't Sipping right. You get your fucking life together. And I got, I'm at the 1122 MMG Studios, Dutchy Man and Friends event. And I got my guy, Authentic. You already know, here with my man. If you ain't Sipping with Sammy, you, you ain't Sipping right. You already know. Tell him that. And that's from a real one, man. A real one in the city. Somebody that can show you how to do it. Show you how to turn your motherfucking life around. Show you how to motherfucking build on your energy and your chakras. And then give you some fire. At the same goddamn time. You know what I mean? So I respect creatives like that. Because if you're a creative, you got to create everywhere in your life. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a fact. That's definitely a fact. 
So what you got going on now, man? What's popping with you? What's in these streets? I know Glockaway we're playing about three, four, five songs from you right now. So what you got out there? Love, it's all love with Glockaway. Shout out Glockaway. Shout out Simmy with Sammy. You already know. Everything in heavy rotation. Go check out that new RJ Payne. Me and RJ Payne video. Ascension. That joint is fire. And the song is streaming everywhere. Do not miss it. Freeway in the video. Pop tracks in the video. That joint lit. Whole lot of Philly love in that shit. And it's fire. He ain't lying. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? But you one of the people that I see all the time. You always working. You always joke with me about me working. But my man, I'm always salute you on your grind, man. This is the time that I pulled up and you was here before me this right, time. Right. You walked out on me. I was wondering where you was at. I was asking me, where's Sam? Yeah, oh, he on his way. But that was only by default, though. You was working. You was, wor you was working. Damn it, I tried to get him. He got me back. Oh, man. But no, man, like I always say, man, I salute your grind. And you know we here for each other. I ain't got to tell you I'm here for you. You know what we do for us. But, um... Let the people know where, what, and when, and, and let's get the fuck out of it. All right, now, man, first and foremost, shout out to 1122 MMG. My man, Dutchy, man, they invited me out for this. You know, brought me out, showed me love. Everybody here, Ab Lava, Lou Gang, everybody here. So, you know, I'm from that point on, I'm just working. Still working. It's still consistent working. More videos dropping, more music dropping. Still getting back into the community. My next move, actually, is to start getting involved in the community where I can try to get the kids alternatives than what is already out there. That's what the work I want to do, you know, start giving the kids alternatives and opportunities for a better future. You know what I mean? They don't have to succumb to what's going on out in the world now. They, they, they deserve a chance. So I'm going to do what I can do to try to provide a chance. So that's what I'm working on. That's what it is. Well, tell them your Instagram and your email or whatever the fuck so that they can assist you in your endeavors. Definitely. Hit me up, authentic underscore bars on Instagram. Uh, my email is authenticambitions at uh, 2018 at gmail.com. So you hit me up either way and just get with me. Anybody who has any ideas to definitely create something better or get these children and anybody that's looking for other opportunities for advancement and better, then you, let's come together and let's do that. And that's what we're going to do. And I appreciate you always, brother. You take it easy and be safe out here. Yes, sir. You already know. Appreciate you. Yep. This is Sippin' with Sammy. I am Sippin' with Sammy. Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't Sippin' with Sammy, you ain't Sippin' right. Get your fucking life together. And I got my guy, man, the Philly legend in here, Lou Gang, E. Ness. Shout out, shout out my guy, Sippin' with Sammy, man. You already know, man. Thanks for having me, bro. Dutchie Man, Friends Concert, 1122 Studios, Glock Aware, Sippin' with Sammy show. Ah! Talk that shit, man. This Glockaware family had a show on Glockaware. Probably still got a show on there whenever the fuck he feel like pulling up. Because he is who he is and he do what he do and he show love all the way through, man. But the salute to you, man. You just did your thing out there for the Dutchie Man and Friends show. How I feel performing in these times is a little different crowd-wise. But you know, on the other side of that camera, somebody going to see that bitch. It's tiring. But when you love the sport that much and when you love the game that much... You give, you give every last breath, man, and that's what I do. Like, I die, up, I literally die up there. And that's why it took a little bit of time for me to come do the interview because of my blood pressure. And once I, my adrenaline go up, my blood pressure go up, I start getting lightheaded. It ain't nothing that you could bypass at this point in my life. It ain't nothing you could just, I'm a man, fuck it. I, 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 I work through it. Work. It really affects me. Like, I get dizzy, mm -hmm. I got to really sit down. Mm -hmm. So that be some of the things that's different from back then to now. And, you know, your body wear and tear over the years. And just to be here and be able to come and perform in front of, you know, my peers, Dutch, Live, uh, um, Speed, and uh, be at this age and still see the, the young fans come out and a mixture of the old fans and the young fans and the new fans, that's the reward. No, and that's ill as hell. And just you saying them names, it's like that's what we was listening to on our way to AAU practice, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if you know that. So looking at major figures and the state properties and the Eves and the Roots and the Most Wanted and the Roscoe P coaching. And I was in a cell and I'm like, damn, that ship sell. So when I came home, making a band was like almost like the Willy Wonka chocolate factory ticket for me because the industry already came through Philly. So I had missed that, you know, when once industry come to a certain region they get who they get and they keep it moving so when the people are like oh you woke for cheesecake nigga that was the last train to paris literally at that time but the twist is that you got international notoriety off of a show and a lot of motherfuckers get a record that'll play regionally but they'll never get that look so it worked 
Um, I just feel uh, good to be alive. You know what I mean? I, no real shit. There's a pandemic out here. So much shit going on. A lot of killings. A lot of senseless violence, man. To be out here doing something I love and not to be behind the walls in no penitentiary or no fucking hospital dying from no disease. That's my reward. Absolutely. If we don't learn nothing else from this year, we learn that we all fucking equal and ain't no man. You bleed like I bleed. You breathe like I breathe. This is the these is them times that niggas keep talking about where you realize like if the aliens that came down and we gotta fight against them, it's just us. Absolutely. And um I'm a big testament of that. Being uh um being uh resilient and having perseverance. And uh like you said, if you ain't learned nothing from this year that you know Keep hope alive, man, and you know, survival of the fittest, man. Let's 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 get through this shit. And that's what it is. You said that, and I want to salute you always, man. I tell you in person, but I'm gonna tell you on camera every chance I get. The inspiration that you've been to this fucking city, the things that you showed motherfuckers that was possible, and the way that you taught people how to be a legend and a man and and, and a human at the same fucking time. A lot of people don't understand that balance. It ain't a lot of niggas that been on MTV and still come fuck with me the same way as they was before that hat. You gotta juggle a lot of. I want to say juggle, but you got to, you know, you got to, you got to micromanage a lot of things out here, man. And uh, just to be able to find time to, for your craft and then not step outside of that and be a man to your family and take your responsibilities. That's a whole nother life with it for itself. So being able to man, micromanage these things is, is, is an incomparable feat. And uh, I pat myself on the back and mm -hmm. let me borrow this big mixtape is downloadable on all platforms. Yeah, congratulations to you, man. You had a monumental party about a week ago yes, to release your project. Studios, Pop Tracks, Gil, Wallo, uh, uh, LGP Quad came, a voice of the a youth came through. Uh, uh, the Pot Trooper came through from Glock Jersey. Glock Aware 2 can share. Sammy, uh, the whole fucking everybody, man. Like, like. God damn, we we was we was lit, we was lit, we was. Lit. No, the love is real, man. We can't let them keep talking about our city like we don't see the other side, man. We gotta keep showing them reasons to fucking be about things for certain. Submit now or submit later, but you will. Submit. <laughs> this is Sipping with Sammy. I am Sipping with Sammy. Sam alone, bar stool rug. If you ain't Sipping with Sammy, you ain't Sipping right. Get your fucking life together. And we still at eleven twenty two studios, MMG Studios. Dutchy Man and Friends concert, met legendary night in the city, just as it always is at 1122 MMG Studios. And as always, when I'm in the mix, I run into my brother that mixes like I mix, and neither one of us is mixy. My guy, that guy Cuddy, man, Thorough Cuddy, what's up with you? Hey, man, what's going on, man? First off, sip it with Sammy. I'm locked in. Y'all already know, from Jersey to Philly, I love y'all. If y'all ain't tuned into this, y'all shouldn't be tuned into anything. But yeah, I came here to support my man Dutchy, my man Kev, 1122. I love them here. So I'm here in the city, you know. Well, you always in the motherfucking city. I thought you moved to this motherfucker. Then I realized you still be transporting. Yeah, man. And, and you got the good merch out. Um, Jersey. Jersey, we on shirts. Officially available now. Online orders. Make sure you DM me. I will send you the link. And you can order your jersey. We on shirt today. It wasn't even felt right for me to say Jersey we on, so I wanted you to say I almost said it. I led into it, and I was like, no, it sounds better coming from Cuddy. Yeah, that's right, that's right. No, but I dig it, and I understand the movement. And one thing for sure, two things for certain, I do these interviews all the time, and I talk to a lot of motherfuckers from the area and beyond like you do. But South Jersey, Willingboro, Trenton, Camden, the production, the artistry, the shit that's coming out of South Jersey alone – is 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 saying something right now, and I think that a lot of it is a lot of things that people don't know who nobody's frontlining it, yeah. but they creating it. Mm -hmm. So to say Jersey we on is a real statement. Yeah. So I, I I respect that. I know where that yeah. come from. You know what I mean? Because I know you know what I know. Yeah, I'm trying to bring everybody from Jersey on, man. Uh, I think that we got a small platform, so I'm trying to make it bigger. I'm trying to give everybody the opportunities that the bigger cities got, like New York and Philly and Los Angeles and everywhere else. Jersey, we out here, man. We got a lot of talent. I'm going to keep showing it to y'all. Worldwide Tunes is officially out right now at 2 million impressions. Uh, make sure y'all can run that up. It's Jersey Talent on there. So if you haven't heard it, go listen to that or go listen to Savage Air Volume 2. It has all New Jersey artists on there, New Jersey producers, and uh, a New Jersey graphic designer. So make sure y'all go check that out. No, real shit, man. Congratulations on that 2 million impressions, too. I know what impressions are. 
So I respect that, and that's what you deserve because you put your work in. You out here networking, yeah. and um, you understand the bigger picture. And you somebody like I said earlier uh, when I shouted you out on the on fly day, said always gotta show love to Cuddy because Cuddy always shows love. So I, I want to give you that while you here for real, for real. But let the people know what platforms you on, what you got out here in circulation. Um, how they can find your interviews, how they can get in contact with you and book you to have one of the most energetic motherfuckers on this side of the fucking planet. Hey, man, listen, if you want to book Jersey's best host, you can contact me on Instagram at the official Cuddy or on Twitter, official Cuddy underscore. And right now, 82 Seconds with Cuddy podcast is out. Season one is wrapping up. So y'all better catch up. We got three more episodes to go. Episode eight is coming out this weekend. So if you haven't tuned in, make sure you listen to the first seven because the season one is about to be done. The top 10 indie music video countdown is out right now. Make sure y'all go watch that. We are giving indies an opportunity to get a major feel. So make sure y'all check that out. And Jersey Watch, man. The biggest blog in Jersey, giving indie op- indie artists opportunities. Nah, that's what it's about, man. I salute you and your efforts, and I always appreciate your time, bro. Love. Love. Stay positive. Always. This is Simple with Sammy. I am Simple with Sammy. Sam Malone, Barstool Rook. If you ain't Simple with Sammy, you ain't sipping right. Get your fucking life together. And I'm in here with a gang of folks, man. I'm going to let them introduce themselves to you, man. Tell them who you are. Fuck is they twins. You already know what the fuck going on. It's your boy Tay in the building. Say no, I'm Trey. Trey in the building. You already know. Fuck is they twins. Let's get it. And we, and we, go, we go by, by the, the o- OMB twins. Damn. The OMB twins. You always <laughs> the OMB twins. Damn. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. Now tell me who y'all boy with y'all. Who I got on the right side of me? Listen, we got the infamous Jay Taylor. You know what I'm saying at Woo! the at the Jay Taylor on all platforms. Skirt. Then we got the mastermind with the master plan that goes ham. Diamonds dancing. Bream Entertainment. That's our manager. You feel me? That's Bream. all of our manager. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, so ladies, thanks for coming on my platform. But explain exactly what it is that you guys do. I'm going to start with you. I am the management of the OMB Twins and Jay Teller. I run Breen T- Entertainment. I just opened up. What did we open up, guys? Probably the, the wintertime, February, right? Um, me and these young men went to Chicago for BET. And we linked up, and ever since then, they've been part of the team. And my baby right here, Jade, she just signed with us, what, two weeks ago? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So we climbing the charts. We rising to the top. Stay tuned. Listen out for their name, Breen Entertainment. We around. Well, thank you for that. Congratulations on starting your situation and getting some good draft picks to set it off with. I already know what it is. But um, also congratulations to you. And what can we expect to see from you since you linked up with this situation, along with what you already been providing with you, with your create, creative talents? Okay. Um, so, yes, my name is Jay Taylor. I did just sign with Bream Entertainment about two weeks ago. But um, you can expect to see lots from me, especially under her management. I actually just dropped a single with the OMB twins, twins called Wine For Me. So go ahead and check that out. Yes. But um, other than that, you could just expect big things from all four of us. That's dope, man. I definitely want to salute y'all. I definitely want y'all to keep doing y'all things. I'm watching what's going on. I see the movement, whether y'all know I see it or not. I'm pretty sure y'all know I see it. But I'm around. I'm a resource. Make sure that I know what's going on with y'all and keep me posted with what y'all got popping and let me know how I could be a better resource. All right, but um, let everybody know where to follow everybody, how to get in contact, and where they can find y'all music at. Yes, sir. Uh, so you could you could find us at the OMB Twins on all platforms. At the T H E O M B Twins. You feel me? Yes, sir. Hold. Let everybody say the Instagram. Hold on. At the OMB Twins. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I'm Jay, go ahead. Uh, you can follow me on all platforms at the J Taylor. And you can find me through them. Simple with Sammy, I am Simple with Sammy, Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't Simple with Sammy, you ain't sipping right, get your fucking life together. And we had 1122 MMG Studios at the Dutchy Man and Friends concert. It's lit, it's situated, and I got the legend in here, man. Spade, Spado, Philly Zone. From what I've heard, I was at Broadmaster at the Y when you said the illest flow Philly ever heard. Long, long time ago. And you know what I said? You motherfucking right. So salute to you, man. Thanks for coming through, man. Thanks for doing your thing tonight. Man, appreciate no, man. I appreciate y'all having me. You know, you know I can't. You know, my guy, Dutch, my guy. You know, mm-hmm. for those who know the history. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, there's no way he gonna ask something and I ain't gonna show up. Mm-hmm. Support. 
Absolutely. For those that don't know, we talking about Spade and Dutch from the legendary Click Major figures. And they also had Dutch and Spade, which got legendary projects out, records, y'all all type of placements together in a short amount of in a short amount of time before the legendary run that y'all had since then. Yeah. So I definitely want to salute to that. But do you realize how like how we view you? As a culture in the city, like that, we still like. I used to ride the AAU banging that shit. Yeah, nah, I, I never look at it like that. Like I'm a regular, you know what I mean? I'm a regular Joe. You know what I'm saying? I don't take it with that energy. I take it with the. I take it as appreciation. I appreciate people. You know what I'm saying? That appreciate what I did or, or in whatever capacity, however I helped them in any point in their life. You know what I mean? And that's what it's about, man. You are creative and you giving us things to do certain things in life, too. And I appreciate the fact that you appreciate it, but I appreciate you. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But um, since you've been home and all that, you, you, you've you been out here working. So tell the people what you got out here and how to how to get with you on that. Um, right now, I got a project. My most recent was uh, Hall of Fame Flow. It's out right now. It's on every platform, so you can get that. Me and Lava did uh, Glory. Mm -hmm. Me and Ab Lava. Which is what I believe is a classic album. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I did Spado Unchained, and you know I got some things out there, man. You know, just click. You know what I mean? You you sitting in the crib, go on YouTube, click the, the Spado, it's gonna come up. You know what I mean? You gonna be there listening. You know, you gonna get the vibe once you start listening to it. You know what I mean? And it's dope because your story is something that motherfuckers in the city can definitely identify with. They might not have had your highs, but they've been up and they've been down and they've had to figure it out again. And we can respect how you move, how brothers like Wallow and them move since y'all have made y'all transgression. Regardless of what happened before, y'all came out great men and walked y'all walk the way y'all supposed to do. So I want to salute that because that's not easy to do. No, nah, I mean, you know, the things that I've been through don't define who I am. At all. You know what I'm saying? So, you know... But, you know, people say, man, if I could turn back the hands of time, but if I did that, I'd be a different person. Absolutely. And when I look in the mirror, I'm proud of what I see and who I see. You know what I mean? So I'm cool. My transgression made me who I am. So, you know what I'm saying? You and know. I know you don't need it, but we proud of you too, bro. No, nah, man, I appreciate it. So I salute you, bro. No, thank you, man. Real shit. And I'm going to get some more time with you later on, and we'll get some more out of you. We can talk some real history. But I am definitely appreciate you spending some time and coming through and blessing Dutch and them tonight. For real, for real, 1122 MMG Studios. For sure. Thank you all for having me, man. Absolutely. Thank you. My guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sipping with Sammy. I am Sipping with Sammy. Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't Sipping with Sammy, you ain't Sipping right. Get your fucking life together. And we are at 1122 MMG Studios at the Dutchy Man and Friends concert. And I got the legendary Dutchy Man himself in here. And I also got Spado joining me from Dutch and Spade themselves. But Dutchy, what up, homie? Oh, man, I'm blessed to be here, man. That's all I can say is I'm blessed. I'm glad everybody made it. I'm glad everybody came out. Everybody had a good time. And I'm glad that I'm making pure music again. I thank Allah every day that I got my sanity. I heard that, man. Well, I want to congratulate you on a successful event, on a dope performance. You know what I mean? The energy in here, like, despite the situation, the restrictions, and how we had to do this thing, it was it was right. So I want to salute 1122 and the rest of your family that helped do this, Font Productions and all of that. Like, I appreciated everybody that put on the night. I appreciated your performance, DJ Alamo. It was a good night, man. So I want to definitely salute you on that. But when did you figure out this was the way you wanted to do this? It wasn't even, it's like this, we in a pandemic, right? We right. we already had a tour with 38 Special and, and you know, uh, uh, RJ Payne. We, we was going to go on a, a six city tour. They shut that down. Um, had Don Q book mm -hmm. at the TLA. They shut that down. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, man, every time I'm trying to do something positive, something go crazy. So I'm like, maybe it's just because my approach is different. Let me just get back to what I know. So I'm like, let me get back in the studio, sit down for a minute and really put some records together and not just try to conform. And do everybody, the Dutch that everybody wanted was the Dutch that I had to figure out who it mm. was. You feel what I'm saying? So I went back and listened to a lot of the older records. I said, damn, I don't got to do that. But I know what I'm. they talking about now. I, was, I wasn't being me. You know what I'm saying? When you happy just being you, I'm a silly guy. I'm a funny guy. I'm not, you know what I mean? I, I, I never had to play the gangster role because I had niggas like Spade around me. So it was like, you know what I mean? That was real G's that it was like, you know what I mean? That's just being honest. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it a being like, niggas didn't walk around like, oh, we the tough guys, but niggas is really like my guys. Yeah, they, yeah they, I had great brothers. Mm -hmm. So it was like, you know what I mean? I was always the subtle one out the group and the subtle one, the, the cracking jokes and laughing and doing that. So I got back to that, but in a more melodic way mm -hmm. i say projectiles of cognac is that melodically it's, it's more melody it's more 
street shit. It's more, you know what I'm saying? Salute to Griselda, salute to my niggas, uh, Conway, and niggas like that who gave me an opportunity. Jada Kiss, who didn't have to give me no opportunity, niggas showed love. And, and you know what I mean? What, whether it, it cost me or a little, it cost me a lot, just know that it didn't cost me my honor. The whole tape, that's what I'm talking about. The tape, it didn't cost me my honor. I gave you pure music. That's the, and this right here was just me knowing that we can't perform nowhere. So let me just have a few friends come out and, and, and pit cameras everywhere and, 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 and have people like, like you know what I mean, like Fant Philly and, mm -hmm. and, and come in and pit cameras where y'all don't even know they at. So when the <laughs> performance goes up in a week, and you see all these angles and these different ways where she had these cameras and did everything the right way, it's going to look like a great production. So what I did was I turned my projectiles and cognac, my Dutchie Man and Friends, into a versus, mm -hmm. which is going to bring me subscribers to my YouTube. And I see what you did there. You know what I'm saying? It's a business. It's a business tactic, man. I'm just sitting back looking at how everybody else is making money. I'm like, wow, let me go ahead and try to get some. No, that should make the most sense in the world. You ain't never in the world don't make no goddamn sense. But on some real shit, it's dope and it made sense and the energy was right. It's never about how many people is in the room. It's about who's in the room. And a lot of the right people was in the room tonight. And that's cultivated based on the respect that you give and that you get in return. But as a fan of you as an individual, Spade as an individual, and you guys as a collective and also the overarching major figures group as a collective, trust me when I tell you what I'm hearing and what I've heard, because I've heard the whole project. You gave us what we wanted. Because you started out saying, like, you wasn't sure how to, you know what I mean, fit in that world. Like, we expect different deliveries, different flows, different angles from you, but we expect you to do you while you're doing it. The same shit we expected from Spade. You know what I mean? And a lot of the people from this city that put on, because we from a city full of originality. So we always expect you to do you. And I felt like you was in your pocket on this. So I want to tell you that. So even if that's a doubt in your mind, you did, no, you accomplished what you said. When Lava told me that tonight, I knew it was, I mean, and See then that? and then Speezy second, then, then my man Raunchy over there, the, the quiet ride. <laughs> he, he said, <laughs> we was in the car ride. He said, no, I'm missing that shit. That shit, I mean, you did that shit, bro. I said, wow. And this is why I want to spade here, because there's somebody that came up from day one, and y'all work close hand-to-hand. -hand. Y'all on legendary records with the rest of the figures ain't there. It's just y'all. You know what I mean? Dead Man's Walkings and all that type of shit, which y'all performance a few months back before this COVID shit, man, that shit made a nigga feel good. Real rap. You know what I mean? Real rap. I was there. But how do you feel seeing his progression, seeing this project, seeing what he's doing business-wise? Like, what are you seeing it for him? No, I'm just happy. I'm happy for him. I'm proud of him. You know what I'm saying? I see the. I can hear it. I can hear the. You know what I'm saying? That he back in his pocket and he comfortable, not just in music, but in life in general. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of who he became other As a than music. You know what I'm saying? And, and once you got that part solidified, the music easy. You feel what I'm saying? The music is easy because it's, it comes nat so natural to you. Mm -hmm. The music come like this, but once you settle life, you get life in order, then you really can get back into your craft. You know what I mean? And, and when I hear it, I'm like, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like his beat selection, like his beat selection was excellent. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Picked the right beats for him, had the right hooks. He got the right features from the right artists and put Facts. the right artists on the right records. Facts. So he did a good job putting, you know, they, they put the project together, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy for him. And that's dope, man. Like I said, the city proud of you, bro, man. And we appreciate both of you brothers, no matter what, like, Y'all always have been who the fuck we expected y'all to be. When y'all come to the table and y'all put out content, we get what the fuck we want. I do. I can't speak for, but the people I'm talking to, I'm in them barbershop and basketball and bar stool conversations too. Y'all doing what the fuck y'all need to do, man, and we appreciate yeah, that shit. That's, 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 listen, all I can say is, coming up soon, Dutchie Man and Friends mixtape um, for all the up and coming artists in the city. I'm gonna do that for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put that out, and I got my uh, distribution company ready to put 100% press on it so it'll go up on the platform and niggas still be able to get money even though you're not known. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it, it, a $50 check better than no dollar check. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I've seen motherfuckers say, yo, I got my first music check, and it was $25, yeah. and they was proud of it because it meant that they was making progress, you know, and that's the thing. But I'm going to give niggas opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Like That's all my thing is. It's like, what else? You know what I'm saying? What else can you do but for your city but show love?
No, that's what it is, and that's what you've always done, and you are appreciated. Also, check out Complicated by me featuring Dutch, dropping very soon. The shit is a banger. It's a whammer. Dutch blessed me on that. Something long time coming, man. I appreciate you for that, my brother. Real rap. I appreciate you, bro. Salute to sipping with Sammy, man. Now, anybody else you want to shout out that made this thing a real thing before we get the fuck out of here? Because this is your night. Like, make sure that you, you, you get your shit off, man. Oh uh, man, everybody, everybody that stopped through played a part in the energy. That energy, when the energy is positive, everybody that came through, it was a good, it was a vibe. You know what I'm saying? That's why I did it the way I did it. I said, you know what? This a vibe. I just want niggas to be able to have fun. It's like they shut the world down. I want people to pay attention to that. They shut the world down. Just to catch them, catch a vibe is cool, and go back in the crib, chill with your folks, and relax. You know what I'm saying? So August, the first week in August, be looking for it. Like I said, it's gonna be like verses. When this joint come on, it's gonna be boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? And it's gonna be everywhere. So you'll be able to watch it on iTunes. And I, man, I ain't gonna give y'all too much motherfucking business. You know what I'm saying? But it'll be out there. You know what I'm saying? It'll be out there because I don't want nobody stealing my motherfucking mojo. You know what I mean? Well, that's what it is, man. I appreciate you again for making this night happen. Inviting me and my platform on board with this shit. We always here for you. We here for y'all, man. The motherfuckers that set it off that made me want to really understand that Philly is a major part of this shit. I'm always here for y'all. So just let me know what's going on, man. And we're going to keep it moving. Absolutely.